Hi, welcome back. This is Meghnath. In this module, we will see the most commonly used HTML tags. So let's get started. Now to learn most HTML, con HTML tags, what we'll do is, we'll be reusing the same HTML file that we have created in the previous module. So let's go to G Drive, HTML, My HTML Files, this application.html. Now what I will do is, let me right click on this application.html and open with Visual Studio Code. So I don't see Visual Studio Code here. Now I'll, I'll select here, choose another app, and I'll click on this show more apps here, Visual Studio Code, and I'll make this as a default app for opening HTML files. Click on this and OK. Now you can see here, I just opened the HTML file that I created. Now what we'll do is we'll learn some additional tags to make it more proper. Now if I see this, if I open this in browser, open with Google Chrome, so you'll see here that this is not properly formatted or you don't have some heading for it or so let's try to add it, let's try to make it proper, right? So now if you want to add some headings for in HTML, there are six headings. Depending on the size, you can select the heading that you want. So the six headings are like H1 to H6. So I'll just type here application form. Now H1 is the biggest font for heading. So if I save it and I'll go back and if I refresh it, you can see here it's showing as application form. So that's a big heading if you want smaller heading. So you can give H2, H3 and up to H6 you can give. So there are six headings. Now if I, I'll just show you the difference here. So let me copy this. Just to show the difference I'm adding here, uh, multiple H2, H3, H4, H5, and H6. Now there are six headings in HTML. So I'm just closing the respective tags here. H3, H4, H5, and H6. Now let's save it. And, and let's see how it looks like in the browser. So you can see here, these are the six types of headings that we have. If you want bigger headings, subheadings, you can use H2. And still you have subheadings, you can use H3. So depending on your requirement, you, have, you can select the respective heading. Okay, so now I'm deleting these six headings now. Now after this application form, I want to display a, a line here, horizontal line. So, so that it looks like I'll just put for HTML to display, browser to display horizontal line, the tag is HR. HR stands for horizontal rule. Now let's save it, let's go back and refresh it. You can see there is a line got created. Now after the line, I want to add some moving text indicating some, um, I want to have some moving text. So now I'll write here mark queue. So mark queue tag is used for the text that will be moving on the screen. So I'll write here last date is, I'll be writing here, let's take, I want to put here 30th June and 2020 or something like this. Now if I save it, if I see in the browser, you can see that you can see that text is moving here this side, last date 30 June 2020. Now after this, I just want to add one more HR tag. You can see here, I'll just add HR tag. Now let's see how it looks like. Let's go back and refresh it. Okay, not bad. So now I want all this application form to be in the center of the page. So what we can do is you can add after this body tag, you can just add a center tag. And I'll just close this, control X. And after all these controls, I'm putting the center tag, I'm closing it. So basically I kept all these tags. So let me add it properly. Um, I'll just add indentation proper tab. Now here tab. So now you can see here center tag. I've added all these controls inside center tag. So now let's see how it looks like. So not bad. So you can see here application form and the last date. And we see here first name, password. So if I want to give some more space, I can give one more BR tag for all these controls. Now I'll copy this. I'm adding one more BR tag so that I'll see some considerable difference. So now I just add it. Now let's see how it looks like. I'll just save it. Let's go back, refresh it. Now you can see here we got some gap between each controls and after this HR also I'll give one gap. So after this HR, I'm giving one gap here. So let's see how it looks like. So not bad, we have seen application form. 
and we are seeing here first name, password, address. So how to move this address to the top? We will see that later, right? Branch we have, and if you see here, it's not aligned properly. So if you see here, it's not aligned properly, it's like this. And once we learn tables in the coming modules, we will try to make it proper, right? Now in the footer, after the save also, I need one horizontal rule, and I need to add one copyright symbol here like that. So let's see how it looks like. Now I'll just change this application form F to capital and save it. Now after this button, I want to add one HR tag, indicating HR tag, and I want to put here copyright symbol. If you want to display copyright symbol in HTML browser, the HTML code is ampersand copy semicolon. And I have to write here my name and I have to write here 2020. So after this, I want to put here one more HR just to close it. So let's see how it looks like in the browser. So if you type ampersand copy semicolon, browser will convert this ampersand copy semicolon to this copyright symbol like this browser will convert that. Now let's see how it looks like. Let's go back and refresh it. I can see here it's looking like a proper application form. First name, password, address, branch, gender, and hobbies. So all of you try to practice creating this HTML form without seeing. First you see the video, understand it, and try to do this without seeing. This will boost your confidence in learning HTML. So we just learned how to create a static HTML application form, and we will see some of some other controls which we use most frequently in the next module. Thank you and see you in the next module.